All right, hey guys, welcome again, Fire Alarms and such, and this is SK5208 Test 57, Real and Fake Belts. So we're going to start off down here with a Gamewell M46-28 Century. This is the pull-only version and tool reset. Going up here, we are going to be featuring, once again, my Wheelock 6-inch mechanical bell, and this will be chiming, I guess I should say, at code 3. If we come all the way down here, we have my Radionics multi-tone fire alarm, and this will be doing bell tone, code 3, flashing at 15 candela. And then coming down here is my Silent Night single action PS-STAK single action key locking pull station. So we'll be doing that today as well. We will be also smoke testing the Bosch F220-P photoelectric smoke detector. And then coming over here, we have the System Sensor P4R 4 wire Spectral Alert Advanced. This will be doing strobe only at 75 candela. And then coming down here is my EST 270B SIGA dual action pull station. And we will be doing that today as well, along with doing some controls from the enunciator. So to begin, I think we will start with the game wall sentry. So here we go. We'll go ahead and silence from the panel. The tube strobes continue to flash while the bell sounds turn off. I know it's kind of hard to hear that radionics alarm because of how loud the uh, bell is, but it's uh, it's going, I promise. So we'll reset this. And we will reset the panel. All right, so panel is resetting, and now we can head over to the Silent Night PSSATK single action pull station. We'll come up and around, and then down here. So we'll give it a second for the panel to reset. And wait. It should be good now. Here we go. And pull. I'll go ahead and silence from the enunciator. Strobes continue to flash, and then we can come over here and reset the pull station. See our sound night key. Oops. This has a finicky switch in it, so I have to like half pulled again to get it to uh, fully reset. There it goes. I gotta wait for the little click inside to go, otherwise it uh, won't reset and the panel will go right back into alarm. So, let's reset from the key switch. So panel is now in reset. And hopefully it should stay reset but you never know. So we'll just make sure. It might go off again. Nope, we're good. Awesome, awesome. So let's come over here and we will get our smoke test going. Again, remember, do not try this at home. It's literally mostly full with uh, butane. I don't know why it's uh... not going. Oh well. Try with this. What are you dead to?
cool. So that died. That's odd. So much for rechargeable lighters. Hopefully this should be enough smoke. Uh, it may not be. Let's pull it right up there to the chamber. That's odd. Why did it stop? Why did it reset itself? That was really weird. That was really weird. Why did it do that? Zone three type is fire, panel smoke. So it's panel smoke, type fire, not local, yes, disable, response one second, no verify, no auto silence, yes, a manual silence. So there's no auto silence. It should not have auto silenced. Or auto, it auto reset. Like it was in walk test. So that's every everything there is right. Let's, uh, I'm gonna test it real quick. Uh, where is it? It's right here. I think. Where is it? Right here. Oh, come on. I can't tell if you guys can see that it's flashing red. Um, it's picking up that the magnet's there. And then it's just kind of stopping. This detector's always done this. It's been finicky with the magnet. <laughs> I did this. That was really strange. I have no clue why that just reset like that. Because it's not even like, because it didn't reset now. I wonder, well no, because if it had, it's not like the reset key stuck, because otherwise it just would have done a system reset as soon as the panel booted back up. That was really strange. I've never had that happen before. Huh. Well, there. We learned something new every day. I guess we didn't learn anything. That was really weird. Hmm. Well, there. Just a uh, first for fire alarms in such history. The Silent Night panel randomly reset itself outside of lock test. Ain't that nifty. So, let's actually come back over here and we will do the ESD station. So, here we go. Lift and pull. So 
we'll go ahead and silence that. Then we can reset using our Edwards Cat 45 key. Oh, by the way, for all you people who like simplex stuff, I just, uh, oops, I put a bunch of simplex stuff up on my store because I got a big box of new stuff and I weeded out what, you know, I already have or didn't want or, um, you know, if I had doubles or something. So if you guys want some simplex stuff, at, I marked it pretty low because it's of no value to me. So if you guys want some Simplex stuff for cheap, go down to the link in my description and you can check out my store and see some of the devices I have up. So on that note, I think we'll end this video by doing a fire drill. So thank you guys for watching. And as always, do, 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 do. Have a wonderful day.